I'm 32 years old. Um, lived here for about five years. Going on five years, it'll be next year. Um, studying to go to family studies at Lubbock Christian University. So there's a little bit about me. I'm very determined, very driven. I have a drive that I haven't had in a very long time. So I'm driving to be more successful, more better for myself. My condition is called cerebral palsy. In my case, there's like four different types, but in my case it's called spastic, which means you just need to like stretch more. It makes the muscles not contract when you sit down and you're against the wall. Your legs are straight, flat to the floor, right? Mine don't do that. They have to be forcibly, they have to forcibly push them down. Like if you're stretching them so they can stay there or, you know, contract. First grade for sure, because uh, you'd go to school with like a walker. Before I had crutches, I had a walker. And so you'd have to walk with a walker and you're, you're, you had to be positioned a certain way to make it go straight or left or right. So having to carry it and walk with it was very noticeable to everybody. So you knew something, you were different when everybody would stare. When I was younger, I didn't have to work very hard, very much. You know, my mother took care of everything. So when I was 18, I had my very first job. And it was like a front desk clerk for a college. In my case, I always think of it, well, maybe it's because I, they don't think I can do the certain positions of the job or things like that. That's always an issue that I have. And how do I prepare for that mentally? I don't. There's always there's more rejection than there is positivity, you know. So I don't know how to gauge it anymore. I just go in and do the best I can and hope for the best. I've done the interviews and I've done really well. We have good rapport back and forth. We understand each other, and it just doesn't end up in the winning column. It just thank you for the interview. You know, somebody else will be qualified. And these are not certified positions. These are just paraprofessional positions. They're just like teacher's aide or helper. They're not, you know, anybody can do them. You can tell when they start talking. When you start talking about the job and the functions. Um, I've had a job one time a couple years ago where I was, we were talking about the position. It was about helping people. I think it was a, another school job at her, in a different location. Not here in Lubbock, but in a different area. And she was like, I don't think you can help out the kids because they won't understand or relate to you. And they, this was a disabled position, special education. And I figured, well, that's kind of wrong. I think they would be able to relate to me because I'm one of them. And, she thought so, so I knew when she said that, it wasn't going to go the way I wanted it to go. I also have a program for disabled people for city access, where it's by reservation, and I take that every day that I have to go to work. I just want to help the community, you know, get a good job that helps people, you know, like Goodwill or something like that. Just, I want to be around the community. That's what I like doing. I like being around people, but I just want to help anyway.